Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Teacher at Home. Today, class, we are going to learn the fifth chapter, Light and Shade. Look at the boy in the picture. Don't you think that the boy looks lonely? Why? Have you ever felt lonely? Why do you do? What do you do when you are left alone? Given below, well represented. You may follow up the points. Form groups of seven members. Read the script in the group. Identify the character and analyze the dialogue. Choose the roles and practice the dialogue. Present it before the class. Your teacher will help you. The lonely child and the puppy. Narrator one. Once upon a time in a big, big city, there lived a little boy. A little boy was he. Narrator two. He had no joy, no fun. Narrator three. He lived with his father and mother. Narrator one. Still he was lonely. A lonely boy was he. Narrator two. The days were long and tedious. Narrator three. The nights were dark and dull. Narrator one. He longed for a good friend. Narrator two. He tried and tried, but all in vain. Boy, I am just a lonely lad. Admits the hue and cry. My heart lost and sad. I am just a lonely boy. Lost somewhere in time. Narrator one. One day he was coming back from school. Narrator two. He saw a small puppy on the pavement of the street. Boy, I a cute puppy, a lonely puppy, lovely puppy. Narrator three. He went near the puppy and caressed it. Boy, my dear puppy, are you lonely too? Narrator one. Some passers by asked. Passer by one. Where is its mother? Passer by two. Oh, it has lost its mother. Boy, lost its mother, but how? Passer by one. I don't know. It's always alone. Passer by two. No mother to feed it. Poor puppy. Boy, oh dear, are you hungry? I have some biscuits in my snack box. Would you like it? Narrator one. He gave the puppy some biscuits. Narrator two. The puppy has been starving for some days. Boy, puppy, my biscuits are over. Don't worry. I'll give you more tomorrow. Now I am. I will leave you. Bye, bye, my little puppy. Narrator one. The boy left the puppy there and walked away. Narrator two. But will the puppy leave him? Narrator three. Oh no, I never, never. Narrator one. I followed the boy. Narrator two. I followed the boy all the way home. Narrator one. At home, his mother was there at the door. Mother, stop you naughty boy. Where did you get this dirty puppy? Boy, I got it from the street, mom. A pure, cool, cute puppy. Mother, why did you bring it here? Boy. Mom, I love this puppy very much and I want to keep it as my pet. Mother, to keep a street dog as a pet? No, no, no. Throw it away, I say. Narrator 1. And the boy became sad. Narrator 2. Misunderstood and afraid, the lonely boy sits with grey, cloud above his head, silently, sniffing to hold the tears. Narrator 1. And can anybody be sad forever? Narrator 2. Won't there be rain after a scorching summer? Narrator 3. And won't there be dawn after a moment night? Narrator 1, 2, 3. Yes, the boy will get a friend one day, a friend for him to love and play. Let's read about another lonely boy who appears in the film The Red Balloon. The Boy and the Balloon, seen one a street. A boy of about seven years is seen walking. There is a dog on the pavement. The boy bends down and pets the dog. He then goes down a flight of steps and disappears from view. Now the boy is seen coming down the long flight of steps holding a small bag. Something catches his attention and he looks up. He stops by a lamppost, looks up again, looks to the right and to the left to make sure that there is nobody around. He puts down the bag and quickly climbs the post. On the top of the post caught him in the rod that holds the lamb in a big balloon. The boy frees it, holding the string of the balloon between his teeth and the bag in his right hand. He walks down the steps. Another part of the street. The boy walks along the footpath of a busy street with the balloon string in his left hand and the bag in his right. An old woman turns to look at him, amused. The boy stands amidst a group of people waiting for a bus. When the bus comes, the passengers board through the small door at the rear and the boy tries to get it with him. But the conductor points to the balloon in the boy's hand and prevents him from getting in. 
the boy is disappointed he stares at the bus moving away as the balloon on the string swings like a pendulum in his hand the boy breaks into a run holding the balloon in his right hand and bag in his left two pedestrians turn to look at him the boy runs along the pavement and stops before a thick polished door on the street he knocks at the door and reaches for a calling bell on the wall when the door opens he goes in a sign board says it is a public school for boys scene 3 the school yard a man is seen sweeping the yard holding the balloon by the string the boy walks up to him the boy could you hold my balloon the sweeper obligingly takes the balloon and holds it the boy please don't let it go he started running towards his classroom a teacher appears at the window of the upper floor of the building he looks at the boy and the sweeper and jots down something in his notebook the boy runs towards the classroom he pushes down the door and goes in the street in front of the school a woman holding an open umbrella is seen waiting before the school door the door opens and children rush out one of the boys takes her hand and then walk away the boy with the balloon comes out after a few moments and runs into the street it's drizzling the boy does not want the balloon to get wet he seems an old man with an open umbrella held above his head the boy runs after him and t- talks to him the man allows the boy to share his umbrella the umbrella is too small to shelter the three of them so the boy moves out of the shade of the umbrella and holds the balloon under it now the boy gets wet but the balloon is sheltered they walk on till the old man reaches his destination he goes it through an open window boy looks to the left and right in search of someone else with an umbrella scene 5 it is on the street it is still drizzling the boy is seen running after a woman who has an umbrella with her he reaches her holds the balloon under her, her umbrella and walks with her then the boy walks up to two nuns with umbrellas one of them allows him to hold the balloon under her umbrella after that the boy is seen walking with a man crosses a bridge holding the balloon under the man's umbrella next the boy watches as a group of mounted soldiers pass by the last soldier in the group turns to look at the boy amused he stands by the side wall of an over bridge watches a train passing underneath the boy then runs away and disappears scene 6 and the part of the street the boy reaches home his mother is seen watching him from behind the glass pane of a french window above she shakes her head in disapproval draws the curtain and disappears After some time she opens the window throws out the balloon and closes the window the balloon bobs up and down but does not go away it hovers around the window of the boy's home the boy looks through the glass panes of the window at the balloon he opens the window walks out in the balcony and grabs the string of the balloon then he goes in with it and closes the window scene seven the street Next morning a shopkeeper opening the shutters of his shop a postman delivering mail to a woman on the balcony and a hawker selling his wares in the street at scene are seen the row of cars is seen parked on the street scene eight the street before the boy's house the next morning the boy opens the window of his house and releases the balloon into the air the boy balloon you must obey me and be good He points his fingers at the balloon in a warning gesture and closes the window. The boy comes out. He is on his way to school. He looks up the balloon, hovering above. The boy, balloon, balloon, come down. The balloon floats down to the boy gently. When the boy raises his hand to catch hold of the string, the balloon playfully evades him. He finally leaves the balloon and starts walking along the pavement. Payment. The balloon follows him, always keeping itself out of the boy's reach. The boy comes down a flight of steps. There is a black dog at the bottom of the steps, which starts barking as it seems. The balloon flowing the boy. The boy leaps up and tries to catch it. The balloon just managed to escape. Movie time. Now let's watch the movie The Red Balloon and know more about the lonely boy. Albert Lamarais, 
was a French filmmaker, producer and writer. He first came into prominence for directing and producing the award-winning short film The Mango Me. His important works include The Red Balloon, Stoy with the Sky and Circus Angel. He won the Oscar Award for the Best Original Screenplay in 1956. Dad fell into the pond. Alfred Noyes, the renowned English poet, short story writer and playwright, was born in Wolverhampton, England. His well-known works include The Highwayman and The Barrel Organ. He was honored with Deal It by Yale University in 1913. Everyone grumbled. The sky was grey. We had nothing to do and nothing to say. We were nearing the end of a dismal day, and there seemed to be nothing beyond. Then Daddy fell into the pond, and everyone's face grew merry and bright, and Timothy danced for sheer delight. Give me the camera, cuk o cuk. He's crawling out of the duckweed. Click. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and doubled up, shaking silently, and the ducks all cuked as if they were draft. And it sounded as if the old Drake laughed. Oh, the worst in the thing that didn't respond when Daddy fell into the pond. Meet the Masters. We have enjoyed watching the film The Red Balloon. Now let's read about some of the masters of world cinema. J.C. Daniel, the pioneer of Malayalam cinema. Have you ever heard of J.C. Daniel? It's a name that is an unforgettable part of Kerala culture, usually described as father of Malayalam. Cinema. Daniel was born on 28th November 19 in Agastheswaram Taluk of Kanyakumari district, Tamil Nadu. The first film made in Kerala, Vigdagumaran, The Lost Child by J.C. Daniel reflects the social and cultural life of the period. Daniel had an encounter, many difficulties to make the first film in Malayalam. However, he got over them and set up the first film studio in Kerala, 1926 naming it the Triangle National Pictures. He found money for his by disposing of his landed property. He wrote the script, titled it Vigda Gumaran, and started the production work. It was a silent film. He was the director, the protagonist, cinematographer, and the editor too. Pikerosi, an ordinary woman from the exploited class of society, who was a woman cast in a lead role, also had to suffer much. This artistic venture failed commercially, living in dire poverty. Daniel breathed his last on April 29, 1975. Government of Kerala honored him in 1992 by instituting the Jesse Daniel Award for Lifetime Achievement in Cinema. Govindan Aravindan G. Aravindan, the renowned Malayalam film director, screenwriter, musician, and cartoonist, was born on 21st January 1935 in Kota. He experimented in storytelling without regular narrative styles. Before entering the world of films, he was an established cartoonist. His cartoon series, Charya Manishiram Valliya Lokam, won the hearts of Malayalis. His well-known films are Uttrayayanam, Kanjana Seeda, Kummati, Pokuveil, Chidambaram, Uridatu and Vastuhara, was honored with the National and State Film Awards. He also worked in documentary and theater production. He left the world on March 1. 1591 Agira Kurusawa Akira Kurusawa one of the most important influential of Japanese filmmakers was born on 23rd in March 1910 he contributed much to the development of world cinema he was a director screenwriter producer and editor he directed 30 films in the career spanning 70 57 years he made his debut as a director in 1943 during the world war Second, the popular action film San Shiro Sugada, his other Avengers are Rashomon, Golden Lion, Ikiru, Seven Samurai, Throne of Blood and Dreams. He died in 1998. Satyajit Rai, one of the greatest masters of world cinema, Satyajit Rai was born on 2nd May 1921 in the city of Calcutta. He belonged to a Bengali family prominent in the fields of art and literature. Starring his career as a commercial artist, Ray was drawn into independent film making after meeting the French filmmaker Jean Trier and viewing the Italian film Bicycle Thieves during a visit to London. Ray directed 36 films including feature films, documentaries and short films. Pathar Panchali, Arabad 
அபரிஜிதோ அபுர்சன்சார் ஜல்சாகர் சாருலதா அண்ட் டீன் கன்யா ஆர் சம் ஆஃப் இஸ் இம்பார்டன்ட் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஹி வாஸ் ஆல்சோ ரைட்டர் ஆஃப் ஃபிக்ஷன் பப்ளிஷர் இலஸ்ட்ரேட்டர் எ கிராஃப் டிசைன் அண்ட் ஃபிலிம் கிரிட்டிக் ஹி வோஸ் செவரல் ஷார்ட் ஸ்டோரிஸ் அண்ட் நாவல்ஸ் தே வர் ப்ரைமர்லி எய்ம்ட் அட் சில்ட்ரன் அண்ட் அட் அவர்சன்ஸ் பாஸ் அவே இன் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி டூ certain meanings admitted in the middle of bob to bounce caress to touch somebody affectionately crawl to move forward on one's hand and knees daft crazy dawn early morning deni to refuse destination place to reach determined made a feel firm uh, decision disapproval a feeling that something is not suitable dismal sad drake a male duck drizzle to rain lightly duckweed a very small plant that grows on the surface of still water dull under interesting equipment things that are needed for a particular purpose established to start established respected recognized away to escape flight a series fulfill to achieve what was expected futile vain having no result grab to take or hold grumble to make a deep continuous complaining sound Hawker, a person who sells things going from place to place. Hover around to stay in the air. Hue and cry, a pro or outcry. Indebted, owing money. Influential, having a lot of influence. Jaw down to bright down. Lean, to bend from a vertical position. Leap up to jump high. Leisurely, comfortable, relaxed. Merry, happy. Mounted soldiers, soldiers on horseback. Mournful, sorrowful, obtain to get, pave and sidewalk, pedestrian, traveler on foot, pile heap, profile shape, prominent, important or well-known, pursue to try to achieve, rear, back, renowned, famous, rod, stick, sheer, complete or extreme, strive to make an, a great effort, tedious, boring. So that's all about this chapter. If you are interested, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.